Hey guys, Chad Belling again with the Foul Life Television, Banded Brands, Realtree.com here. We're gonna go over a little bit of short read, Canada goose call instruction. Um, if you picture the roof of your mouth, it's shaped like this, right? It's concave like that. What I want you to think about is your tongue position where you're gonna shape your tongue the exact same shape as the roof of your mouth and you're gonna anchor the tip of your tongue behind your bottom teeth where your gums meet your tooth line. So right behind your bottom set of teeth, you're gonna take the tip of your tongue and push it into the back of your teeth, right where your gums meet your tooth line again. And then you're gonna push your tongue up so it's shaped in the same shape as the roof of your mouth. So if you picture that you got your throat right here, you got the roof of your mouth right here, and your tongue is gonna be sitting in there with the same exact shape with the tip of it anchored behind your bottom teeth, right where the gums meet your teeth. That's gonna be your starting position. And when you grab your short read goose call, you're gonna push your tongue forward and you're gonna push five seconds of continuous air through that call without letting it waver. You're not gonna grunt, you're not gonna put any extra power into it. There's a lot of volume built into these Tim Grounds championship calls. All you're gonna do is push your tongue forward in the same shape as the roof of your mouth. And you can see by adding a little bit of back pressure, you're gonna get a Canada goose. It starts out with and there's no grunting, that's the same clean air. Starts in your diaphragm, comes up through your lungs, gets in your throat where it meets your larynx, comes up over your tongue, down your tongue, through your pierced lips, into the call. And from there, all you're gonna do is take the tip of that tongue and you're gonna pull it back and pop the fatty part of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, completing your greeter cluck, what, your moan and then your cluck, it sounds something like this. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tip of your tongue and you're gonna pull it back to where the fatty part of your tongue hits the roof of your mouth and that's gonna complete your moan and your cluck. So it's gonna go from rough to clear to cluck. And that's a can of the goose cluck. If you wanna get two different ge geese talking back and forth, your first cluck is gonna be with your hand closed like that, pinky to pinky I call it. Here's my pinky, it's gonna go on the back knuckle of this pinky, the tip of the, uh, my off hand is gonna go on the back knuckle of this pinky, that's gonna be my first goose. And all I'm gonna do is rotate my off hand around and now I'm gonna go thumb to thumb. So pinky to pinky to thumb to thumb, listen to the difference. Two different geese talking back and forth just with a slight movement from pinky to pinky, thumb to thumb. Tim Grounds calls, guys. I'm Chad Belding with the Foul Eye Television, Banded Brands. There'll be more instruction soon coming your way right here at Realtree.com.